and welcome to the finals of the World of Tanks Commentators Contest. I'm Blue Orange, and it's an honor to be able to bring you this match from the Company of Heroes event that took place on January 25th. Company of Heroes is an event that was designed to encourage people to take part in tank company battles. Tank companies is a great format that allows you to put together a team before entering a battle, but it doesn't require everybody to be a member of the same clan or to, to commit to a schedule, which is what's required to really win at Clan Wars. We can see the Wargaming team on the left, and a team from Lube with a guest on the right-hand side. Lube is presumably an association of tank mechanics. We'll see whether they can drive them as well. World of Wargaming have brought a combined arms approach to this battle with several heavy tanks, two mediums, a light and three artillery. If you compare that against the Lube force, you can see that it's KV-1Ss and a Jumbo Sherman. Because they've gone with top tier tanks exclusively, they're fielding less tanks, but the total tier remains the same. What we should expect from Wargaming is for them to use their combined arms approach to provide tactical flexibility and you can see that they are dispersing their light forces to get a view of the battlefield and coverage of various points. Meanwhile the heavies are concentrating in the town which is the most sensible place for heavies to go in most cases. It gives you defence against the opposing forces artillery and long range weapons. It gives you an opportunity to engage one at a time. Whether it's the best way to go when you know that your opponent doesn't have any scouts it is an interesting question, but uh, they could reasonably have expected Lube to go into the town. However, Lube seemed to have only sent two f tanks into the town, and we saw for a moment one of their red tanks heading down fr from the flag, so they may come from the southeast. I'll well, just expand the minimap so that we can get as best a view as possible of the tr strategic situation. And there it is. On the southeast force, you can see a column of red dots, red heavies moving fast, um, using the speed of the KV-1S to its best advantage and charging down that way. Meanwhile, the artillery remaining focused on some pretty pointless efforts to engage the KV-1S that's hiding behind the house and it was never going to be uh, successfully attacked by that grill. Here we can see the KV-1S formation as the grill lines up on them. Because they keep moving, it's difficult for the grill to establish a target. Also, the long load time of the grill means that he hasn't had an opportunity to get a shot off yet. He should be able to get something out to Ginger Snap, but you can see that his f circle expanded dramatically there. He failed to lock his tracks and was therefore not aware of the fact that he was right at the edge of his gun's traverse. That shot went wide, and that's because of some fairly amateur driving by the grill. The heavy tank company uh, column is continuing to advance. Meanwhile, the town situation seems to have resolved itself with the... Wargaming KV-1 swarming their op opponents there and the light force is now scouting the flag, detecting the Jumbo Sherman. So Wargaming having an extremely clear idea of exactly what's going on in this map. Meanwhile the forces in the south are somewhat blind. They've got very little contact. They can see the tank destroyer. They don't know about that green force that is charging the flag very hard and they need to get on the flag very quickly. However, because they're not aware of the need, they're focusing their efforts on taking out that tank destroyer, they don't want it hitting them from behind, and that is going to cost them very badly, because once those greens get on the flag, the green bar at the top there is going to advance extremely quickly, and there's nothing that the Jumbo Sherman is going to be able to do to prevent a very rapid green cap. Green bar do dropping a little bit there as the Jumbo Sherman did manage to reset one of the tanks, but he's only reset one of five or so tanks. Meanwhile, the red team has got two tanks on the flag, and there's no cover there, Coming to a complete halt when you're fighting artillery is not the way to do it, although they have managed to take out one of the artillery there in the grill, not managing to get a shot, but the heavy, um, that shot coming from a green heavy has taken out one of the red players. That's the end of the match. You can see that the cap took place very quickly.